New photos showing the strip nightclub beating allegedly involving New Orleans, excuse me, New Orleans Saints player Alvin Kamara. Now, the victim filing a civil lawsuit against the NFL star, asking a jury to award him $10 million in damages. Now, these photos are taken from surveillance footage at Dre's nightclub the day before the NFL Pro Bowl, which was back in February. So that was a video that just got released from TMZ, and it doesn't look good for the Saints running back. This incident took place last February in Vegas at Dre's nightclub the day before the Pro Bowl where Alvin Kamara and three friends were charged for battery resulting in substantial bodily harm. The victim, Daryl Green Jr., has already filed a $10 million civil suit against the NFL star. Green said that Kamara punched him multiple times causing him to suffer severe injuries to his neck, back, shoulders, knees and face. And judging by the pic following the incident, I think dude's got a pretty strong case. Anyways, it's pretty stupid how this whole thing started. I understand people are having fun and drinking, but to do this to a man over an argument is just flat out stupid. Like, just take a look at his face. Buddy got murked pretty bad when you look at his photo. So this assault ultimately got the running back arrested facing an ongoing criminal case while a civil suit was filed last month. Anyways, the fact that they have this assault on video is just even more damning for Alvin and his entourage. And I just gotta say this, as an athlete and a pretty recognizable one, you just have to move smarter. You know there's always going to be people on the streets or in clubs who are going to try to front on you. And I'm not saying that's exactly what happened here, but my point is, Kamara has to put himself in a better position. You need to have the right guys around you, not every single person in your group should be drinking. You need a friend or two in the group who are more level headed and maybe have security around at all times in case someone gets cute. But ultimately, this shit just falls on the Saints' back. Plain and simple, he messed up. He's lucky he's even playing right now. The league hasn't suspended him just yet, as he may be waiting for the case to play out in the courts. But who knows now with this video servicing, as it will certainly put more pressure on Goodell and the league. That being said, what the fuck was the league thinking putting the Pro Bowl in Vegas? While they've now cancelled the Pro Bowl altogether, I really want to know whose brain dead idea it was to do it there. There's a reason why the NBA always used to hold the All-Star Game in Charlotte. 